Hi, I'm Rachel Spencer, a registered dietitian and OncoPowers Director of Nutrition. Nausea and vomiting are one of the most common side effects associated with chemotherapy and other cancer treatments. But just because it's common doesn't mean that you have to suffer with no remedy. First of all, you want to make sure that you are taking any anti-nausea medications that your doctor prescribes. Oftentimes these medications can prevent nausea from happening and it can also help to battle it after it's already begun. You also want to make sure that you are having regular bowel movements as constipation can actually cause nausea. Um, so make sure that you are getting adequate fluids and fiber and make sure that you are taking any bowel medications like Senna or Miralax that your doctor recommends as well. If you are actively having nausea and vomiting, you want to remember to try to have sips of fluids and bites of foods every couple of hours as tolerated. Foods that are bland, room temperature without too much seasoning are going to be best tolerated. So think soups and broths, um, room temperature water, mashed potatoes and toast. During these difficult times, that's what's going to be best tolerated. If you are preparing foods for yourself, make sure that your cooking area is well ventilated with windows open as sometimes smells can set off nausea. If this is really still too much for you, try to enlist some friends and family to do some cooking for you um, or using meal delivery services. This can also be a good solution. If you feel that it's been a long time, a few weeks or so, and you really think that your nutrition is suffering, please be comfortable speaking with your physician about this. They may be able to change your treatment plan in order to better um, treat your nausea and vomiting and make you more comfortable and preserve your nutrition status during therapy.